morning everyone me sam's gonna show you the more here back in the vlog not been out filming in one month but i'm back on the train today so i'm gonna have my first train ride of the year place your bets to, to think what it's gonna be oh I, I, i've got penderina passing place your bets to see what it is and that's the late birmingham one uh it's only been like two three minutes right there I'm waiting for the 0904 London Northwestern Railway Service to take to Birmingham Street. Funny enough, this is the first train of the year caught last year, and last year it was 108. Will it be a two? Hopefully not. But we're only going for local Elton to Coventry, possibly Nuneaton today, to test out some filming equipment that I got over Christmas and whatnot. Have I got toothpaste on my mouth? It's also blooming cold this morning. And I mean cold, the coldest start in a long time. It's minus two, but it feels like minus seven. We've got some Arctic blasts when I'm filming this week. There was chances of snow, but now that's like very, very slim. Anyway, they're calling for my train now. So I better catch this 0904 service, which will take me to Coventry. And then we'll begin the testing of the filming equipment when we get to Coventry. Eight coaches, good. Place your bets, please, on what the first train of the year will be. I think 377 was my final train of the year. That better not be a two. No, it's not. First train of the year is 118. Let's give 118 a ride then. Right, is this thing we're testing? I will not sure if it's um got a microphone, clip on microphone, but I'm not sure if it's responding or not. That's partly why I wanted before I started the main filming of the year to come out locally and do a test of it, even though it is cold. That's also part of the test to do it in the cold. I'm not sure if it's making me any louder or not. Also my hands are blooming cold, I'm gonna put my glove back on in a minute. Does this thing actually work? Hello? I'm not sure if it's making me any loud or not. These better be good because these cost me, uh, they're normally 30 pounds on Amazon without 25. Hello? Hello? We have seen a shed. We have. But now there's one of the new Avanti trains coming down. So we're going to film this. Well, let's see if this one's in the new livery. My touchscreen gloves don't want to work. Is it in the new livery or is it a plane at IET? Well, no, it is in the livery. Still can't wait to ride one of these, hopefully, this year. 805005. They'll be replacing the Voyagers, sadly. Always find the tampers quite interesting. Okay. 
Right. I'm not sure if this thing's still working. I think I might have to actually charge the receiver now. Because I charged it last night. It's got a green light on it. Now I'm thinking the receiver's dead because there's another connector in the receiver that goes to your phone. Is this test a failure? But anyway, we've been getting some uh, locomotives and bits and bobs of trains while it's been out, been out here. Mainly uh, freight and non-passenger stuff. We've got a shed. We've got that tamper which is going down to Bista because there's a land slip down there. So there's repairs. So that's being sent down to Bista North. And also, uh, we got the, um, that new Avanti train with the new livery, 805005. Now, there's the Tesco train, which is running about 50 odd minutes late, and then I'm going to go down to Nini and see if I can get some more movements there. And also, I've got something from, for Christmas that is uh, worth using. So, we're going to go find the Gregs in Nini and first sausage roll of the year. First takeaway, actually. I've been eating a little bit healthier. Right, well, here's the Tesco then. This is it's 122. First horn of the year. Uh, back on these 196s then. I don't think I've actually ridden down the full Coventry to uh, the Neaton line in a while actually. I've done it as far as Bedford back in the summer. Uh, 196011. I would, I would go on these when the football's on though. They get packed or when there's an event on at the arena. Before removing heavy luggage and the uh, best um, football stadium in the West Midlands, that's where Coventry City play, aka my local team. Definitely the best football stadium in the West Midlands. Although, like I said, I won't come down there when there are football matches or events at the arena because it gets packed. Yeah, real mail. Right, now in the Neaton, that new uh, Avanti train which we saw at Cov is uh, actually coming back up this way to go up to uh, crew at 1 o'clock. So maybe we'll get a shot of that speed. I'm hoping it's going to go fast and it's not going to stop. And also there's something coming down from crew in about 10-15 minutes. That could be, it's saying it's path to the class 323 of real time trains but I think that's going to be a 730 I hope it's a 730 anyway I am hoping it's a 730 I think I'm going to go, go, go down to uh, Greg's and then see if there's anything else going through and then I'll probably have to go home although I do have to go home via Coventry don't ask no because I um, because I wasn't sure 100% where I was going to go test this new equipment, but I'm not testing it right now, by the way. The microphone, I can't, because that's the only annoying thing about it. When I'm charging my phone on my portal. The next train at platform 4 is the 1243 Avanti West Coast Service. Tonight, London, Houston. Calling out London, London, Houston only. Yeah, because... This train is formed of nine characters. You done? Platform four. No, she's not done yet. She's not done yet. West Coast Service to London, Houston. You done now? Good. As I was saying, uh, yeah, I'm not because I couldn't fortune I can't put the uh, microphone into the uh, phone at the same time I'm um, charging it, basically, which is a bit annoying. Never mind. Anyway, yeah. Let's get this, uh, these few trains filmed. Yeah. 
66063. And then the asteroid house coming down. So I be up 730 with the London Northwestern Railway Liverway. How do these compare to the uh, 350 side? Can't really see the seats, but you've got some tables. Can't wait to give these ones a ride. I have ridden the 730s, but the West Midlands Railway one took us to North Western Railway down south. If you didn't see that vlog, I'll link up in the uh, corner of the screen. Right, we can get the old versus new shot with the arrival as well. 57 and under North Western Service and crew. You've got the 730 here. You got obviously the 352 there. That's what these trains are replacing. But I'm in typical, I missed that shed because I was distracted by seeing when the 730 would depart. Whoops. Oh. Goes at 7.30 I've heard rumours as well that they want to put a 10 car on the uh, Trent Bay line, but you can only fit seven on the London bound platform of the Fuji, about four and a half on the uh, crew bound platform, and then Atherston you can only fit on four on each or four and a half on each side. So that'd be interesting if they did put a 10 car because that's a five car one. And that only just fits on Rugeley's uh, London bound platform. I don't think it fully fits on the uh, crew bound platform of Rugeley. But it skips out them two stops on test. That's a little tamper. 750 as well. Eight eight zero zero six on the fast, but it's going on to the slow. Yeah, it's got the signal now. There's that 196 in the background. Right, there's 66571. The best things in life come for free. I spent that gift voucher, although I still got money left on it. She gave me a seat to the lovely lady and then the neat and Greg's. Ooh, we got another one. 805009. I haven't seen the 807 that apparently has been around occasionally. I've just seen the HO5s. Can't wait to ride one of these. But there it goes now. I believe we managed to see two tested in the one in one day. And then I think there's something else coming up as well. I missed the outward one that went down to rugby from crew because I was in the Greg's, but I'm gonna get the return.
see what that is. My guess is another 730. West Coast service to Manchester Piccadilly. Please stand back from the platform edge until the train has stopped. It's a 7.30, it's a West Midlands Rail one, and also I'm testing another piece of equipment as we speak, I'm testing this mini tripod that goes on the ground, I've not got, I have got a bigger one as well, but I don't want to test that one out, mainly because they're not really a big fan of you having big fat, uh, tripods at train stations, which is fair enough, the only time we'll probably use a big one is if there's a steam train or something really special due through, but they don't really like to use the big tripods at train stations, which is fair enough, but they don't mind you using the little ones. This is 730001. I still can't tell if this thing's actually working or not. I might have to run a few more tests when I get home before I actually probably start filming for the year. This is just like a test of the day. Although they have announced, as I've been out filming, they have announced more women driver strikes. I thought we might have finally come to an agreement, but no. Don strike again, start of February. Right? It doesn't overly affect me anyway, because I wasn't really going to plan on starting filming really until like middle toward the end of February. So, not a huge deal. Anyway, this is another piece of equipment I have. I've had this now for the best part of a year. I've just never used it, mainly because I was trying to figure out how I connect it up to a thing. But this is like one of the old ones that goes with my uh, main big tripod at home. I've also got another big tripod I do. So yeah. But like I was saying, they're not really an overly fan of you uh, using big tripods at uh, train stations. So um, I think it's best if I um, just use this smaller one, which I think is good for ground shots. However, when I said that, it doesn't really have the like... The real good grip for like you can't really attach to stuff like this metal bars but that's when my other uh, piece of equipment comes in handy and i've got a spare one of these as well these little mini griller tripods that you hold so salmon is snazzy gadgets this year we're just gonna have to try and figure out if this actually i'm not I've, i can't tell if it's working now because i do sound like i'm a little bit like fuzzy or louder I'll have to run a few more tests of it when I'm in the house and then see if it's a, a useful microphone or not. But I'm going to go back home soon via Coventry, in fact. Oh, I'm pointing the wrong way. That is my uh, 196 back to Coventry, going back to rugby that way. I just had to do it that way because um, of the tickets on one, basically. I think there's one more freight train though due before that train, which I'm going to film. Get yourself out of the tug. It's a 60. 60. 028.